Hi, wanted to pop in today to talk about vitamin B deficiency and tinnitus. Some of you may have taken a little bit of B vitamin. Maybe you heard, oh, sorry, my microphone is nowhere near my mouth. Maybe you heard that uh, lack of B vitamins can lead to tinnitus. And so I wanted to go over that. There have been a, quite a few studies done on lack of B vitamins and their relationship to tinnitus. Most of those studies have come back that yes, there is a correlation. Who knows about causation, but there is a correlation. And it does seem that when you supplement with B12, uh, especially, but different B vitamins, that that improves. So here's a couple of factors to consider. First, if you're vegetarian or vegan, generally you're going to be deficient in your B vitamins. That's just the way it is. Second, if you have any methylation disorders like MTHFR or COMT or any other methylation disorders, your body often is not able to use the B vitamins appropriately. So even though you may have enough, it's not being used quite the same way. Another reason is over overmethylating or homocysteine factors. And homocysteine is when your body produces byproducts from the normal biochemical processes in the body. That's, that's just what happens. Your detox pathways generally will clear that excess homocysteine out, but sometimes they can't because your liver is overburdened or your kidneys aren't working properly or your different phases of your detox pathways are not working correctly. So that will lead to elevated homocysteine, which can cause tinnitus. I did make a post in the beginning of this group, if you scroll all the way down on homocysteine and tinnitus, as well as hearing loss. Um, diet itself. So despite all the best attempts to eat healthy, the soil is depleted and that's going to impact our B vitamins as well. Now here's a couple symptoms to think about or diagnosis that may indicate that you have a B vitamin deficiency. Headaches, depression, weakness, parathesis or weakness and tingling in the extremities, yellow tinged skin, um, sore tongue or you know mouth is sort of swollen and red, mouth ulcers, gait changes, um, neuropathy, blurry vision or, or um, changed vision in general, GI issues as well, um, and anemia or non-iron related anemia. So a lot of times we'll be able to see from lab work whether or not you have an, this non-iron related anemia. If you grab your CBC with differential and you want to look at your RBC um, HCV, MCV, MCHC, and platelets, and all these things. If the numbers are elevated, and unfortunately, you need to have the right numbers to look at, which most of you don't, but if, um, if they're elevated and there are a variety of numbers, that indicates that you could be dehydrated or have a B vitamin deficiency or methylation problems. So that's something we may want to consider. Um, and then a deficiency in B1, B2, B3 also times will give you cracks in the mouth. So if you have that, if you have difficulty concentrating, that's something else that might tell you that you have a B vitamin deficiency. Here's the caveat with all of this. The most of the supplements you can get over the counter at the grocery store, on Amazon, whatever, are not good quality. They just aren't. So you may be feeling like you're supplementing all this stuff, but it's not improving anything. If you're deficient and you're just taking one or two B vitamins a day, it's not going to be enough because you have to compensate for the lack of and the deficiency that you had. The best options if you are B vitamin deficient is to go to a place that can do the um, infusions of B12 or to get a high quality B12 supplement. If you need recommendations, I have some for you. 
Um, but generally the things that you're going to find online are going to be primarily fillers and very little of what it actually says that it's on the container. So just a thought and it can take weeks, you know, six, eight weeks for you to see a change. I harp on this all the time. Don't take a supplement for a week or two and then throw it away because you didn't see a change. It takes longer for your body to be able to utilize these things and to get rid of the defunct cells that are in your body so that the good ones can process it. I hope this helps.